Hi, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. This is episode 36. So last we left off, we just finished off finding a whole bunch of uh, different um, uh, items, like such as some celestial weapons and some of the the sigils and the uh, crests of uh, some of the celestial weapons that go with them. Uh, we'll go more in detail which co is corresponding to which, uh, but we just finished Yuna's uh, sigil quest, which was the Aeons, uh, and uh, we we got some of the other weapons such as God Hand, uh, Murasame. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the ones that we did get. So we still don't have Titus's. We have we don't have Wakas yet. We still need to go over Blitzball, which will be the next episode. Uh, we have God Hand for uh, Riku. We have Nirvana for uh, Yuna. Uh, Murasa, uh, Musa Mune. M Murasu, uh, sorry, Musa Mune. I'm completely butchering these. But uh, the, it's basically named after the uh, ruler that united Kyoto and uh, Tokyo. And Spirit Lands for Kamari we have. And Onion Knight for um, Lulu we have. So. We still need our uh, need Waka and Titus. Uh, this is uh, ultimate weapon. But we'll also go over which sigils we have and uh, uh, what crests we have uh, w when we go through them. But right now, what I want, where I want to go is uh, today's episode is actually going to cover uh, Omega Dungeon. So let's go ahead and see this cutscene here. This place. Seven hundred years ago. A monk who defied the teachings was sentenced here. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground, out of the light. So, he's here? Scared? Not a chance. Alright, so we're in Omega Dungeon. So, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and save, because... Uh, this dungeon's very notorious for many game overs, uh, mostly because there's a lot of status effects. Uh, there's a lot of fiends in here that give you a lot of weird status status effects. So we're, we're actually going to go straight for Omega first, and there's also an Alba primer that is uh, in this dungeon. So let's go ahead and uh, grab it. Uh, I I do have uh, Lulu's uh, piece uh, brace. Uh, uh, bangle on just so we can uh, you know explore without any interruptions right now and we can go straight to uh, uh, to Omega without any interruptions so this dungeon also has this chest here that it sometimes becomes nothing to si uh, to sell and it turns into this monster which uh, it gives you 250,000 gil if you beat it uh, uh, outright uh, it's actually much easier if you have a celestial weapon but right now we're not using celestial weapons because we still need to uh, we, we still need to capture a lot of the fiends in the game especially it, also the ones in uh, Omega Dungeon so that's why we don't have any of the uh, celestial weapons uh, equipped yet but we will have that soon uh, probably right after we're done this dungeon we'll probably be going after those celestial weapons uh, and the uh, monster arena. Um, the monster arena takes a little bit of time, uh, mostly because we have to f uh, we have to fight a whole bunch of different um, fiends, but we also have to uh, capture ten of each each fiend from each area that we visited, such as Besaid, Kilika, uh, Mihan, so on and so forth. And uh, depending on how m uh, every time you collect. 10 of each fiend from each area, uh, the master of the um, monster arena tends to give you um, some more creatures to fight. So uh, we'll be going through that soon, but uh, let's go ahead and finish uh, Omega Dungeon first. This is a great place to uh, level up by the way, and uh, if you're also trying to collect a lot of gil. Another easy way is, let's say you don't want to fight this guy, you just go right through, kill this guy without stealing and... Uh, we bypass that completely. So there, there's a few items in the dungeon, so let's go through it. And then we'll come back and uh, grind out the te uh, 10 fiends of each 
each of uh, each fiend ten times to uh, complete the monster arena. Uh, I'll be doing an in-depth video on the monster arena uh, soon. I'll probably do a three-part video on it, uh, detailing different things in there. Um, but let's go ahead and explore here. Uh, let's head towards this area. So there's actually two big bosses here. So uh, Omega, a uh, little backstory on him, is he used to be a monk just like how they said. And uh, he was banished here, um, uh, I believe 7, 000, 700 years ago or something like that. And uh, he basically had committed some crimes that made him into a fiend, basically hated everything. Um, but yeah. We'll be talking about that soon. Let's go ahead and head this way. So there are a lot of chests, like these mini games, like you gotta choose which one. The minute you hit a battle, all all of them disappear, so you wanna try and get the, one, uh, get the two items before you uh, hit the battle here. And for the most part, it's always this little lizard thing, which is very easy to beat. Basically a one-shotter, now that we've leveled up uh, quite a bit in the game. Great, so let's head towards the other end now. Uh, so Omega Dungeon actually is pretty tough if you have the battles on. But I want to get through the dungeon really quickly, especially because I want to get the Albed Primer uh, in here so we can complete our set. Uh, I believe we have all of them. I'll, we'll have to go through that uh, at the end of this video. Uh, but we will finish all the Albed Primers today. So there it is. There's the Albed Primer right by the lamp. There we go. Let's see how many we have. So each uh, letter actually just corresponds to the alphabet, so we are missing a f some. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G we're missing, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R we're missing, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so we're missing two. We're, we'll, we'll definitely go around back to uh, grab those. Let's try and get these uh, chests. Oh, we missed one. That's okay. Alright, good job. So let's go ahead and uh, head towards... Uh, so there's actually two big weapons. The one is Omega Weapon himself, which is uh, the traitor they were talking about uh, earlier as we were going along. And the other one, I believe, is the Ultima Weapon, which is a fan favorite from uh, old... Uh, it's just a Easter egg for old uh, Final Fantasy fans from the very first uh, Final You're Fantasy kidding. and so on and so forth. Okay, so here we are, uh, we believe this is Ultima Weapon, uh, he I don't think gives you Kamari's uh, over, uh, Ultimate Overdrive, which is Nova, but uh, he's a pretty easy fight if you're uh, leveled up uh, nicely, which we are. And we're not going to use any of our overdrives right now because uh, we're going to save them for uh, Omega Weapon himself. He's trying to petrify me. Little does he know that we ha we're we immune to it. But he's a pretty easy boss, so let's just go ahead and keep fighting him. And then if we get a chance... There we go. See, that was easy. But he's just a preview of uh, Omega Weapon. Uh, he's a similar uh, looking fiend. 
uh, in the same mold, but just a lot, lot harder. Great, let's move on. Perfect. That was not Omega, just a shadow. Bo what, so the main... Come on out, Omega! When we meet, I will send... Alright, Titus, I wouldn't get too worked up. All right, great. So each platform, I believe, has an enemy on it. So just in case you're wondering how to backtrack. Okay, so here comes our first enemy. These are the Demoliths. Um, these are these guys are pretty easy, but they do counter with something called Pharaoh's Curse. The way to get around that is you basically hit them with this Silent uh, Buster. You just you cast silent on them to um, so they don't ca cause uh, Pharaoh's curse. I'll show you the Pharaoh's curse with the other de uh, demo lift, uh, right after this. So this is another attack that they do with the them. it's all petrification, but we're immune to it. Um, so he, so he, see he just caught a caused curse on us. But let's go ahead and see this Pharaoh's curse now. There it is. It causes poisoning, um, dark, uh, blind, silent, and curse all at the same time. But, uh, we won't need that right now. We're gonna go ahead and use the method that I showed you earlier. I'm gonna cast silent on it. With silent buster. And we'll have Titus attack. Attack. And he's gonna use his breath here. Which basically re removes the uh, Silent Buster off of him. But we'll, we'll recast it right after this. Go ahead, Waka. Cast it again. There you go. See, no, uh, no curse. One more attack should do it. Done. Demolith, taken care of. So the reason I'm going this way is, uh, I'm actually going the wrong way. There's a tre uh, treasure chest over here, which I want to get, so let's go ahead and... Oh, okay, so we, we this is our first encounter with the uh, Master Tonberry. This guy is tough. Basically, every time you attack him, he just hits you with his attack called uh, Karma, which basically insta-kills. It's actually proportional to the amount of fiends you've... Uh, you've uh, killed throughout your uh, Final Fantasy X uh, game. So if you if you have a character that hasn't done hasn't killed a lot of fiends, it won't do that much damage. But because our uh, our guys are pretty battle hardened, they've uh, killed a lot of fiends along the way. So that's why it's almost an insta kill every time he attacks. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And it's only a counter attack. But when he does get next to, uh, close to you, he uses his butcher's knife, which is uh, very, um, very um, characteristic of a Tonberry in the uh, Final Fantasy series. This isn't the first time we've seen him in the Final Fantasy series, by the way. We've seen him before too uh, in Final Fantasy VIII, and like basically almost every Final Fantasy, he's been a boss or, or just a random battle. Master Tonberry and a Tonberry, both. Let's go ahead and heal up. I'm using a lot of potions because our HP's gotten really high. Okay, let's go ahead and look here. Great, Friendship Sphere. That'll that'll really help us when we're uh, maxing out the grid. So let's go and head up to. Um, Omega's cave. So we came through here already, so we don't have to fight the fiend on the platform. And this is the entrance into uh, this area here. We see the platform there. And now we're heading um, to onto the next one just to uh, see what we get. Oh, it's an adamantois. We should be. This should be easy. I like to mug these guys because they give something called healing water, which basically uh, heals your entire party. 
So they're actually quite valuable, so get them if you can. Especially when you're facing um, big bosses like Nemesis, which is also in the vein of uh, Omega Weapon. It's a very similar design. Uh, attacks are a little different, but uh, yeah, same kind of character. Or same kind of fiend. Alright, finish him. There. Don't forget to heal, because people will wipe you out here. And the last thing you need is getting so close to Omega and then getting wiped out. Oh, it's a Wraith. Two of them. Okay, let's steal this. See what's in there. Mega Potion, we could use that. Let's move forward to the next platform. I, th I believe there's about six before we get to actual Omega. There's another Demo lift. You can run away from these battles, they're not locked in, so if there's a particular battle you're just not fond of, you can just walk away. I'll be right back. Race we've encountered in um, Inside Sin, so I'm just avoiding them as we go along. The fiends that we're really uh, looking forward to fighting are like the Master Tomberries and the uh, Poroblasts. I'll be right back! There he is. So this is who we really want to fight. I'm actually gonna use Titus's uh, overdrive. Actually, I'm not. I, I'm a little scared to use it only because he's going to counter, uh, or we're, we're gonna kill it basically. And I want to capture this uh, Master Tonberry. A good skill to have to go up against Master Tonberry actually is uh, uh, Auto Phoenix. So every time he kills you, one of your other character basically just revives you right there, right on the spot. Probably two more shots and he should be good. One more hit. Oh wow, for a second there I thought uh, he was going to counter. Sometimes that does happen. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game, or that's just how they set it up that sometimes he doesn't do it. Sometimes he doesn't counter, is what I mean. Great, Master Tom very caught. Let's go ahead and heal as much as we can. 
looks good. Moving forward. I hope it's another Tonberry. It's probably gonna be Admin and Toys. Oh, Demolith. I hate these things. This is the yep. Ready for it. It seems we rate his. He's been waiting for us. So he has quite a bit of HP too. So what I want to do is I want to first uh, cast haste on everybody with uh, Walker. And then I want to bring Kamari in because we want Kamari. This is our. We can either get it here or we can get it from Nemesis later on. Gotta get it here. Feels like it's part of the story. So there's Nova, his uh, ultimate uh, overdrive or his blue bullet ability. He's quite weak because we haven't leveled him up. We don't really use him much. Um, let's go ahead and use Heiska so we can uh, get Kamari out of here as soon as we can. Mostly because we want. Uh, oh no. Don't shatter, don't shatter. There we go. Come on, we want Kamari out of here. Great. Okay, this is now let's get bad. to the battle. So he's not particularly hard, it's just it's a long battle because he uses he's got a lot of HP. So what I like to do is I actually like to do a mighty guard before anything else. There you go, super mighty guard. Uh, this will give us our haste, reagent, uh, Re uh, Regan, um, what else? Uh, protect. Basically, useful, useful, useful things. Um, let's go ahead and use an item on Titus. Does that hit him pretty hard for some reason? I don't know why. Um, overdrive. This battle is a lot, significantly a lot easier if you have, uh, um, Celestial weapons, but where's the fun in that? We're going to try and challenge ourselves with this one. Doesn't matter, we only have one reel. We'll be going for his other reels uh, later on. Probably after this. A lot of his. Oh my god, okay, so we just recovered him. Never mind. But yeah, we'll be going after his reels probably in the next episode when we start doing um, Blitzball. This is a devastating attack. It will wipe you out if you don't aren't smart about it. So let's go ahead and attack. I'm gonna have Riku heal. Okay, Riku heal. Again. Alright, we're back at full strength now. So Dangadi doesn't have a healing ability, otherwise we would have been in trouble. Basically, just keep this up, and uh, you would beat this guy no problem. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and skip ahead.
Alright, we have him down, finally. Well, that was a long, hard battle, but uh, we got Omega down. Find your peace on the far plane. There we go. And I think we got a good uh, armor in exchange too. Break HP, but it's not. It's only a two. Okay, never mind. It's only a two uh, stepper. Let's go ahead and save. All right, folks. So that was our Omega uh, Ruins uh, episode. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye bye.